system, resembling a large mug, serves the purpose of casting a pilot line for cables and ropes in rescue operations. They've coined a specific term for it, the line thrower. The model on the screen propels a 4mm diameter rope up to 300 meters. A smoke trail left by the projectile indicates the accuracy of the shot. The system is easy to use and manageable by a single person. Moreover, its reliability meets the standards of the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea. When outdoor enthusiasts go missing in the forest or mountains, a rescue team with the RECO SAR system steps in. It's loaded onto a helicopter, allowing them to scan a square kilometer in just six minutes. The system detects special reflectors on clothing and gear, with over 200 manufacturers, including the North Face and Heli Hansen, incorporating them from factory. Then there's the Finder system, which is equally impressive. It uses radar to detect the heartbeats of people trapped under rubble. Even experts from NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory joined in its development. This system can locate a person under 6 meters of concrete. Two Finder prototypes aided rescuers after the earthquake in Nepal. Over 300 million students worldwide face a daily earthquake risk, since their schools can't endure seismic shocks. Why not consider classrooms with sturdier desks like these? They look like regular ones, but can withstand the impact of a one-ton block of reinforced concrete. Weight-wise, they're similar to regular desks, manageable for two students to move. Plus, the legs are designed for easy floor cleaning beneath the desk. The Mark III isn't just a model of the Iron Man suit, it's also a pump crafted for firefighters, ideal for forest work. It packs a 10.7 horsepower engine tailored for battling wildfires. Standard specs include delivering about 26 bar and pumping 379 liters per minute. Compared to earlier versions, the Mark III is now 20% more compact and 30% lighter, weighing in at 20 kilograms. During fires, gas leaks, and emergencies, exit congestion is common. To sidestep panic, chaos, and save time, Slide to Safety was devised. These slides activate in six seconds and enable evacuating around 30 people per minute. While limited to the fourth floor, these slides can be installed under any accessible window. Meet SafeBack SBX, the world's first active air supply system for snow survival. It claims to have a 90-minute survival capability. The creators not only ensure oxygen delivery, but also address excess CO2 removal. Batteries are tailored for temperatures as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. Compact at approximately 523 grams, it effortlessly slots into a 40-liter backpack which is available for $700. The 
There are many rescue systems for buildings, but not all cater to bedridden patients. Escape Rescue addressed this issue by creating a system designed to accommodate people on gurneys or in wheelchairs. It ensures reliable protection from smoke and fire, functioning even during power outages. According to the company, it's the only system with such advantages. Plus, it only takes about four minutes to prepare it for use. Beyond evacuation, it's handy for transporting rescuers and firefighters to upper floors. Interestingly, Escape Rescue is deployed in one of Israel's major hospital complex. In 2005, heavy rainfall caused a massive flow of rock and mud into Switzerland's Trachtback River. This damaged several buildings, roads, and even a railroad. To prevent something similar from happening, specialists set up a combined protection system featuring GeoBrug mesh barriers. Just three pieces can contain up to 12,000 cubic meters of rock. The total length of the protection line covers 52 meters, and that's just one of GeoBrook's projects. Maca Ferry offers something similar. They are responsible for building protection systems in the Philippines, especially along local roads prone to landslides. Take the road to Tacloban, for instance. It's crucial for logistics and sees heavy traffic. Maca Ferry opted for a dynamic protection system that handles not just boulders, but also has the potential to improve soil density as vegetation grows through the meshes. The next advancement takes the form of an inflatable PVC boat, but is in fact a versatile life raft suitable for ice operations. It's named Rescue Tip Board and accelerates rescue operations sixfold. Notably, the raft inflates in just 30 seconds and moves easily through reeds and swamps. Weighing a mere 22 kilograms, it folds neatly and can be effortlessly carried by one person in a dedicated backpack. Instant Relief is playfully dubbed the Anti-Tanic. It unfolds in two minutes and resembles a 30 square meter waffle capable of keeping dozens afloat. Its victory in the Light On Awards design competition is no surprise. However, being better than the competition won't be easy. For instance, the Survitech Zodiac ESS deploys twice as fast in just a minute. In certain versions, it accommodates over 100 people on board and the life raft suits more modest vessels perfectly, comfortably holding 50 people. Why stick to sandbags for flood protection when there's tube barrier? That's what the creators of this product believe. This system beats bags in practicality, Consider this, a team of four people can set up a hundred meters of tube barrier in just an hour. It comes in heights of either 40 or 70 centimeters. The tube barrier works on paving stones and soil, no need for pumps, electricity or extra gear. Plus, it's reusable. But it comes at a price. The 40 centimeter high tube barrier costs $219 per meter.
FRA isn't a fan of sandbags either. They specialize in tailored flood protection, shielding everything from ATMs to glass-fronted buildings. FRA crafts panels from marine-grade materials. Each square meter weighs around 25 kilograms, notably lighter than their rivals. It typically takes about four weeks from the first sketches to the final product. As a bonus, FRA provides wind and hail protection. Just add water. Fast, easy, and no mess, say the Floodworks creators. This isn't a drink mix, but yet another protective barrier. In its basic form, it's made of 1.2 meter long blocks that connect and stack. The two level version stands at a convenient 30 centimeter height. It comes with a hose adapter for easy water filling. Thanks to its clever design, the water filled barrier stays stable and won't budge in currents. Each block is priced at $44. UN stats reveal that over 20,000 people drown yearly in Europe alone. That's why devices like Kinji deserve promotion. It fits on your wrist, not interfering with activities like diving, and can support up to 127 kilograms on water's surface. It comes with a compass and a whistle, plus it's reusable, just swap the CO2 tank. Kinji is priced at $80. Our selection ends with the flood break barriers that have been safeguarding homes, businesses, and government buildings from water since 2002. Selected to enhance protection areas hit by Hurricane Sandy, flood break's key strength lies in its fully automatic operation, without electricity or gasoline. It rises gradually with incoming water. When installed correctly, flood break boasts a 10-year lifespan with height and width determined by the customer's budget.